Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving happy vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. So October is like my favorite month because it's one month before my birthday. But more importantly, my favorite holiday is Halloween. So last year during this time, I had done a few mukbang videos with collaborators and also sharing some paranormal stories of my own. And if you're new to my channel, I lost all my old videos last year and also all my subscribers. But thanks to myself, I saved up all my old mukbang videos so I can upload them all again. What you're about to watch is a pre-keto mukbang videos. So don't ask me if they're keto because they're not. And now here's my throwback mukbang. Choo choo. So today we're eating 40 pieces of Burger King chicken nuggets. And just because I had a gift card and people just say, hey, why don't you just eat some Burger King stuff? I want to try the Impossible Whopper, but honestly, it's really impossible for me to eat it because I'm a meat lover. So <laughs> maybe next time I'll try it and uh, be sure to leave a comment down below if you want me to try that Impossible Burger. Without further ado, like how can I would say, Let's get into today's chicken nuggets. You know, when people talk about chicken nuggets, you always think about McDonald's chicken nuggets. Or maybe Wendy's, because Wendy's came out with their spicy chicken nuggets. I liked it, but today I'm eating Burger King chicken nuggets. Mmm. Mmm. I'm dipping all the sauces. What do you guys think about double dipping? I mean, just in general, because in Asia, most of people just double dip, so. I have a question to ask you guys before I get into today's story. Yes, I'm going to tell another final destination type of story. Do you believe in faith? Do you believe final destination? Like you're destined to do something? Or do you believe, I asked so many questions. Do you believe you cannot escape death? You know, I only share life true life stories. So, I personally experienced this story that happened when I was in high school. During my junior year, there were this person by the name of Xavier. I just call him Mr. X. He was 15 years old or 17? 17 because he could drive. So, 16, 17. Yeah. Junior. Yeah. Okay. He died during his junior year and the whole school knew about it, and we hold a visual for him uh, in the school. But what happened was, he got into a car accident, and a truck slided him in half. I know. So, I guess he went to a party or some sort. Mr. X, during that time, though, he, w he was with his friend. We'll call his friend Destiny, okay? It's a guy. I don't know if guy's name's Destiny. But anyway, so Mr. X and Destiny, one day, one night, he went to a party, and on the way he went, he was going back home. At 3 o'clock in the morning, his car broke down. So he got out of the car and started pushing the car to the side on the freeway. And doing that, there was this truck that was dozing off because he was so late at night and he did not even bother to sleep before he wake up and drive on the freeway. He just went for 36 hours without sleeping. I'm exaggerating it, but people do that, okay? So, he was dozing it off and his cars were swerving and while Mr. X was pushing the car, he accidentally went off his lane and slide Mr. X into half. Uh, so, Destiny literally saw his friend slice into half. And he was traumatized. He went to a mental institution. He did not finish school in our high school. And I knew this guy. That's the scary part. I also knew Mr. X. We went to middle school together. It just, um, he was in the band and I was in orchestra, so 
we don't really know each other. And back then, I was such a fob, I didn't even really speak English. Not that I'm speaking really well now. Loser. But I knew Destiny. We had a lot of mutual friends. So, 40 pieces is crazy. I mean, I thought I could finish it all, but. I will finish all, okay? This is why I should do more mukbang more often because I might end up just binge eating all the time. Do you guys feel that way? Like, sometimes you're just craving for food and then you ended up eating so much. So people feel really sad because of this tragic event. But we also told Destiny that he was so lucky you know, he should appreciate his life and live it to the fullest. Because, uh, you know, he survived from this crazy trucker. And then, but he went to, he was so traumatized, he couldn't even speak. And then for like the longest time, he just vanished in our life. He couldn't talk. He, you know, back then, we didn't really have internet. We only had AOL and ICQ. If people still remember that, okay, yes, I'm old, whatever. But... He didn't even want to contact anyone. He he just couldn't get out of that. And everyone was trying to help him, to really want him to get out of his that that little bubble that he was creating. And about after six months or so, he's starting to reach out to some of his friends. I think his uh, therapist wanted him to do that. You know, like to get his life back on track. And you know, in high school, back then, we liked to parties and we only go to people's house parties. We kept reaching out to him and tell him to come to our parties and, you know, we made the place safe, we make it chill, we didn't want him to feel bad. So we just wanted to invite him to our parties and just, you know, get him pumped again. He was this cool dude that he just always wanted to hang out, have fun enjoy life and you know these kind of traumatic events can change a person like instantly so some of us kept him in contact finally it was about a year okay it's about a year before that he always stayed home he was homeschooled he was you know the only two locations would be the therapist office and also his house and one day he all of a sudden texts some of us and said, You know what? I do deserve a new life. You know, all of a sudden, like, I guess his brain just clicked. And it, it was been a year. Like, how do you feel? Like, in a year, you just couldn't get out of this situation that you were in. You were so afraid of things might happen or whatever. And what was in your head during that time? Oh, I mean, I just couldn't imagine if, if someone died in front of you in a very traumatic way. So, we were happy. We, we were really encouraging him to come out into a party. We made it kind of bigger than before because everyone really wanted to see him. He was this cool dude in, in school, so everyone wanted to hang out with him and maybe to see what this person looked like after a year of this traumatic event. I don't know, some people are nosy, okay? During high school, you know, you either have gossip girls or mean girls or like jocks that just wanted to touch people's butt. I don't know. Toasty! So, we went to this house. We need to make sure we had a good capacity so it doesn't get too crowded, right? So we asked this friend of ours who had a big house and who was hosting the party but 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 he had some issues with another group of friends who were also went to the same high school as us we'll call them the z group and so the z group decided to crush the party so destiny wanted to come out but he was a little bit hesitant we started the party around 7 o'clock so we can have dinner. But at 8 o'clock, he didn't show up. So, some of us were texting him saying like, Hey, where are you? What's going on? <clears throat> and he didn't. He was saying like he was getting ready and he was coming. So we were expecting maybe he will show up at night. And the Z group showed up before Destiny. And 
it was creating some very weird tension. And you know me, I always can feel the surroundings. So my sixth sense were telling me like GTFO. So I, so once the Z group went to a party, I slowly backing myself to the front yard. Yeah, they have like a front yard and a backyard. And um, it was about right around 8.30. There were like commotions happening. The owner of the house was starting having issues with the Z group because they weren't welcome, okay? They, they just barging into a person's house and didn't even, you know, ask kindly or try to be friends. They were just like headbutts with people. Like, you know, having like cockfights. Not that kind. I know, get your minds out of that. They were trying to make some troubles. And you know the weird thing about this is that I starting to feel some unwanted spirits start coming closer and closer to the house. Nobody really see it except me. Nobody really saw that coming. But I could feel it. Like I could feel like the place is getting a lot more negative energy and it's getting really crowded and congested. And I just didn't even want to go inside anymore, right? Forty chicken nuggets is a lot. Is it good? I don't know. It feels the same after like twenty pieces. I'm just dipping sauces. Yes, unwanted spirits. And inside of these unwanted spirits, they do have sense of colors. You know, you could feel it more like gray, black, navy blue, you know, some kind of neutral color. And there's particular one, you know, there's, I, I tell you why, because it was so red. Sometimes people say spirits, if they're red, they mean dangerous, you know, then it means more like a demonic, it's scary. I don't know. I, I just, I could just only feel it and sense it and saw the colors of it. And I feel this red, enormous energy that was standing right in front of the house. And it was so scary. So I told a few friends that I was going to go home. I just couldn't wait anymore. You know, if Destiny didn't want to come, that's his destiny. It was his fate that he didn't need to show up at this chaotic negative negativity. So it was destined for him not to show up, I guess. I don't know, like maybe fate told him not to go. So he didn't show up at the house party, maybe. But he did. So right about I say goodbye to all these people at the house, and then I was telling them I was just going to go home. As I walk out from the front door, I exit and I could feel that red freaking spirit just getting bigger and bigger. And it was just very noisy in your ear. Almost feel like you have this dizziness once you sense that thing was there. And I just started feeling like this, something bad was about to happen. I could feel it. So, after I exited off the front lawn onto the street, I finally saw Destiny walk from the other side of the street towards the house. Meanwhile, I saw three guys that they were wearing all black. I think they were in a cane or something starting to walk into the house so he was they were following behind destiny but i don't think they were following him it was just they happened to come in packs and destiny was walking faster and faster toward the house and i waved at him and say hey i was going to go get out of here and you know i was just in a rush because i didn't want to get involved in any of the dramatic moments that's gonna happen all of a sudden Right, that right where Destiny was about to walk into the house, the three guys that were following Destiny, one guy pulled out a gun, starting to walk into the house. So after they saw the gun, 
All these girls that they were in front yard start screaming and running into her house and keep yelling like, "There's a gun! There's a gun!" And Destiny, as he was about to walk into the house, a few people walking out from the house that was also holding a gun, and they decided to have a battle in between Destiny. And the guy who had a gun, who was wearing black, shot Destiny accidentally. In the head, nobody else got hurt after that first fire, and the the guys wearing black, I guess he was shocked that he he really fired the gun, so he started to run away from the house, and the other three guys who were from the house start chasing them after, and we just saw Destiny fell onto the ground. I was like, damn. After a whole year, you decided to just stay in your house and didn't even wanted to come out to party or anything, and finally you you decided to get out of your comfort zone, and you just felt like you escaped death the first time, and you're not going to escape the second time, that type of thing, and I could feel that red spirit energy. To slowly creep onto Destiny's body, and that was intense. I was shocked. Like I said, you know, the first time when you saw a person die in front of you, I ran out of words. I didn't know what to do, and I could feel during that time. I didn't want to go to any house party anymore after that. Final destination. Now you understand what I mean. Do you think it was fate that he escaped the first time? He was probably going to die that day when the car was hitting Mr. Z. But he escaped. He was lucky for sure. He was lucky. But how lucky can you be after almost a whole year? Wow. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> That's it for today's story. Let me know how you feel after this story, and leave comment down below. While I'm still chewing my food, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm sure I'm coming back for more story and more videos, so please stay tuned. I'm gonna keep finishing this damn chicken nuggets. Forty pieces is a little bit too much for me, but I'm gonna try my best, and I'll see you next time. Bye.